bounce back and get a win this week? I don't know what I do. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, we got a, a certain taste in our mouths. And, you know, we've, we've moved on, corrected last week. Now we're just ready to get on the pads, uh, play with the edge. You're going against a team, they do a lot of things. You know, 21 personnel, 22, so much different things, and they're able to pass out of it, too. Mm -hmm. you know, what are some of the challenges of going against McDaniel's ball? Yeah, like you said, just knowing the personnel and knowing, um, you know, uh, which players are likely to use in, in different situations and uh, where they're out in the field and, and the down and distance. All that stuff goes into the game. Uh, they for sure like to scheme up defenses, so we need to be, uh, you know, uh, our best. With their ability to kind of dig and dump, you know, as, as you're going into coverage, do you have to really be concerned about some of the double moves, like trying to catch you being too aggressive? Uh, yeah, more. I think more often than not, just to play action. You know, they've they've had success with that. Um, especially versus Atlanta, so that's something to keep in mind. How much do you pay attention to the quarterback in college and how do you think he's maybe adapted to the league and play this year? Uh, talk, he, talk about yeah, I think, he, I think he's uh, having a great rookie year for sure. Um, I think he's handling the offense well. Um, seems like he understands it, you know. So, um, you know, we have, you know, I think there's, a, we, we go through the same process in evaluating. Uh, quarterbacks and receivers and each have different skills and in different ways that um, we can try and you know prepare for them so I think I think he's a great quarterback. Elijah there's been a lot going on at Washington this year obviously with Coach Lake out and mm -hmm. some of the issues they, they've had just kind of has it been just kind of tough to see from afar just how everything's kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, yeah a little there. bit uh, I really feel for you know all my my friends in the locker room, you know what I mean? I've stayed in touch with them and uh, obviously not the year we wanted, um, but I think just historically the program has been successful, so it shouldn't take it too long to, get, to be back on top of the pack. Elijah, when you go to a new uh, location on the road, do you do you ever check with your dad to see if he played at that stadium and get any tips or, or advice whatsoever? Uh, not really. I mean, there's really only a handful of teams where he didn't play. Um, you know, he played the Patriots, I think. We were watching, um, uh, you know, Tom Brady's new documentary, and he, he, I saw 25 for the Chargers on that. They were getting torched. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think, I don't know. We don't, he, he's played almost everywhere, so. Do you ever talk to him about a tip, or are you, you know, you just talk to teammates at this point for any advice? Yeah, I mean, I'll go to him for advice, um, but pretty much, I mean, it's it's football, you know, it's it's a simple game that we make complicated, so really, um, all the fundamentals are, are pretty much the same. Elijah, how important is the turnovers this week for you yeah. guys creating those, something that you've done a good job at this season, but last week didn't have? Yeah, and, you know, they're a big part of the game, and they provide a spark for, for the offense, so that's something that we prioritize every week, um, but it's, it's definitely an emphasis. Yeah, I mean, just um, I have a good friend on the team, Miles Bryant, so it'll be good to see him. But I think just the team, obviously, they won a lot of Super Bowls, so uh, yeah, I look forward to it.